<sighs> hey. Over this past year, I have been slowly and slowly killing myself. And I've been realizing it uh, pretty much this past few months. I was killing myself over being stressed. And the reason why a lot of that stress came down to is actually from OTK. So last year, Asmongold and I were seen as the bigger streamers on OTK. And since Asmongold left OTK, I kind of had to step up and do almost a lot of the grunt work. I also help a lot in the back end of OTK, but I also was doing a lot of stuff with the content planning, content creation, and overall the hours that were watched on the streams. And it was really stressful because I had dozens of people's jobs and a lot of people's bets on our org doing well, reliant on just me. I was stressed every single day for the year of 2021. Every day I noticed that it was harder to breathe. When I would try to take breaths, I would feel the air coming through my lungs and leaving. And it just felt like I was almost cracking my stomach. It felt very weird. I My knees started to crack a lot more. I started to have anxiety, which is something I never even thought was a, a thing I can ever have. I couldn't sleep. I still can't sleep. And I started to realize it at about 2022 that it was killing me. And if I kept up with this stress, I'm going to die. I'm going to quit streaming is exactly what I said to myself. I said, if I keep this up, I'm going to quit. By the way, a lot of you guys are stressing me out because only 11.4% of you guys have all notifications on the channel, which is actually 4,000 more than what we had last week. So thank you. If you guys can please do that, it does make a huge difference. You guys are the ones that watch the videos. You guys are the ones that say yo for like the first 700 comments. Please do it. Thank you. And partially some of that stress was also two videos a day, which is why we are now doing one video a day on the channel. And it's not just me. A lot of people in this industry are stressed and a lot of the top content creators are stressed. Because the thing is with being a streamer is the clock never stops. You can always be doing more as a streamer. You can always be making better content. Vsauce here. I'm starting to sound like that guy a lot. And it's hard to have a work-life balance with streaming. Because one thing that Nick Palm told me that actually was accurate is streaming isn't a job, is what he told me. He said streaming is a lifestyle. And he's 100% right. Streaming never stops. You could always be doing more with streaming. I could always be making better content. I can always be thinking of ideas. Me just sitting there playing Mario Kart by myself trying to relax. I shouldn't be relaxing because someone else could be taking one of my ideas or I should be working on myself and being a better streamer. It's toxic. You know, the thing is with a lot of people is that when they go to work, they do their work and then they're done when they clock out and they don't think about it. They have the weekends off to relax. That doesn't happen with streaming. There's no such thing as the weekend. Every day is the weekend, but you have to be working every day. And it makes it very stressful, especially for the people on top who are constantly trying to climb to beat each other in terms of competition. And I'm one of those people. I've uh, noticed myself. My heart has been having random beats for absolutely no reason. I've been feeling a lot shittier. I've been feeling a lot of more out of breath. I've been streaming a lot less. I, I haven't been feeling good uh, up until about a month or two ago. I really knew what it was. It was just the stress I've been dealing with over the years has just taken a massive toll. Fortunately now, I'm finally getting to those points and I'm starting to eat healthier. I'm starting to work out. Even I just got a sauna that I've been using and it's been helping a lot. And I've just been trying to relax. What I was doing for a while is I was focusing on the short term, you know, creating content constantly, you know, trying to always constantly beat myself. But that's how you get stressed. And I try to look at some people like Soda Poppin who've been doing it for a decade. And what do they do? They just do what they want and they enjoy their life. And that's what I want. You know, I want to be able to enjoy myself. And I have been a lot more lately. Hanging out with OTK has definitely been a lot more enjoyable. And I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even look at my view count as much as I used to. I, I mean, I'm not going to lie to you and say I don't at all. And people that come in my chat and remind me of what view count I am, you know, it, it's almost impossible not to know. But I have been looking at it a lot less. I've also been caring a lot less about reacting to things I don't want to react to and overall doing things I don't want to do. This channel going from two to one videos has made me a lot less stressed because I don't have to react to things I don't want to. I'm making content I enjoy, which is this video. I've been craving money since I was 16 years old. I was a money hungry guy. I almost said mogul moves. I almost threw up. I've been a money hungry guy since I was 16. But you know what's one thing money can't buy is my brain. 
It'll never be able to buy my personality. It'll never be able to buy what I have. And that thing that I have is what has made all this happen. Don't lose that. And a lot of people I feel work really hard over years and years and they spend a lot of that money, you know, trying to get their health back that they used to get the money. I don't wanna do that. I wanna be able to be happy, be healthy. You know, Cheerio sponsor, hit me up. I wanna be happy and healthy, but at the same time, enjoy my job. I'm so lucky to have what I have and I should be fortunate and also enjoying it. I, can, I see it as this way. I can either enjoy my job and do it for six years, but slow it down a little bit, or I can do my job and hate my life, but do it just for another year or two. Now, which one's the obvious decision? And that's the decision I've been choosing lately. This is the worst part about streaming, by the way, that I can't even enjoy a movie because my brain is so messed up over the years where I'm saying to myself, watching that movie, I should be doing something for a stream or my org. And that's just such a bad way of thinking of life, you know? Like, like I've made it this far, I've done this much. Like, I should celebrate my victories, and I just don't. I, I wish I did more, and that's one thing I'm trying to do a lot more, is really just overall be more excited and happy and just enjoy things. You know, like, why can't I just watch a movie and just really actually enjoy it? And that's the worst part about streaming, is the fact that I can't just sit there and enjoy something. That is the most stressful thing, and I know a lot of streamers deal with it, and a lot of the top streamers deal with it, because you got to. That's how you're at the top, because you're willing to sacrifice those things. You're willing to make this into a massive lifestyle that Twitch is. And it's toxic as fuck, and it's fun as hell. But my God, is it a ridiculous reality that I'm glad to be a part of. Comments are also really bad. I, I mean, streamers don't have to deal with, some streamers don't have to deal with it at all, you know? But a lot of communities that are very big and vocal have uh, Reddits. And those comments can really hurt and really make people feel like shit. Now, for me, fortunately, those comments used to stress me out two years ago. You know, when I was like four or 5,000 viewers average, I really got upset when I would see comments because I'm like, damn it, people are gonna see that and think that that's every stream or that's me. It's almost like you just get used to it. You know, when you get punched 100 times, you just start getting used to the pain. I just got used to it. I don't really get offended or upset anymore. But for some streamers, and Cutie Cinderella is the perfect example, she just got banned on live stream fails because of her award show because Cutie Cinderella was getting up miserably upset. And I'm glad she did it and I was actually one that told her to because nothing can replace your mental health. Nothing can replace this. You can have all the money in the world, but you got to keep this. Another thing about streaming that's very stressful is the lack of job security. One day you can just wake up and be banned. One day you can wake up and you can slowly lose viewers. And that can happen over a large period of time. For a long time, that terrified me. It's actually was some of my biggest motivation is I never knew if I was gonna be banned. So every day I was able to stream, I just milked the hell out of it. And I just wanted to make sure I was making as much money as possible because I didn't really know if it was gonna be there the next day. Job security is very scary. And especially when you're a small streamer where those people get banned over the dumbest reason and they'll get permitted because they don't have partner managers because Twitch is understaffed. Those people that don't have a voice that get banned, I've been there before. They're stressed out of their mind, I'm sure. What sucks for me the most is when I'm stressed, I'm not only not funny, I'm mad. I'm When I'm in stressed moods and I'm not, I'm not thinking straight. I'm not in a good mood, I'm not in a good headset, or fuck, look at me go. I'm not in a good mindset. When you have a normal job, it's really easy for you to just put on your happy face and pretend that you're not stressed out of your mind, going nuts, trying to pay for a bunch of things. But when you're an entertainer and the camera is like this, in front of you for six to seven hours a day, especially for someone like me who's constantly having to make jokes, it's really hard. And sometimes it's painful the entire way through. The fact that when I'm stressed, I, I, I really can't do anything besides just feel like shit. Uh, and to try to be entertaining for six hours a day, is almost impossible. You know, if I'm a construction worker, like I'll still be able to work despite being stressed, but I can't really make funny jokes and be super entertaining when I'm super stressed. I just can't do it. And I know it's a lot harder for streamers as well. There's a lot to it. And it's why I'm trying to make sure I'm less stressed for 2022. I don't think a lot of you guys noticed it, but I was very stressed in 2021. I was stressed the whole way because of Asmongold. And that's not his fault. I, I mean, he's got a lot going on. He had a lot going on with his mom, but it was a lot for me. And I'm trying to make sure that I don't stop streaming because I love streaming and I love my job and I love 
making content and I want to keep making good content and I fucking, I heckin' love OTK and I, I want to keep going. My goal for 2022 is not some big number. It's not some big thing. It's not some, I don't want to be a 40K Andy. I don't want to, and I'm not trying to double my viewership. I want to stay where I'm at, but I want to be healthy doing it. And I think I got that. And I think I'm going to do that. Lesson for me, take deep breaths. And a lesson for me is do not let this stress kill you. It's not worth it. You know, I, I thought that these years of me working my ass off and doing the things I'm doing would be worth it. I thought it would be worth it completely. I always said to myself, just keep going, Matt. Don't worry about your mental. Don't worry about your health. Keep going. These next few, this next two or three years, and in 2022, 23, you'll be happy because you'll be rich and you'll be happy because you're, you've got your house and your money and you're set. No, I'm not. I'm not happy. All that from the past two years is hitting me like a rock now. But I'm glad I realized it now. And I'm glad I'm doing something about it. That's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Seriously, you guys have been absolutely amazing. And the support for the channel has been going crazy. We've seen more subscribers these past few weeks than we have in months. And I think it's because you guys are liking the videos that we've been putting out and we've been putting more quality into the channel. Please subscribe, take deep breaths once in a while, and I'll see you guys next video.